What's up guys and welcome back to day seven of our 15 day adventure going up to and through Bash to the Future. Michael's been a busy bee this morning. He ran out to West Sac to get his drive line shortened. First, I came here oh. to take the drive line out and I had to drop the dip just to get the drive line out and then take it out, unload the trailer and then take it out to West Sac and I got there in an hour from leaving my house. And doing all that? And doing that. Nice. Yeah. He went and picked up brakes for the front end. Uh, he's been on the phone with a couple places to do alignments. Also, uh, our new neighbors, we kind of talked about them a little bit. They, he came by and hooked Michael up with an AN fitting uh, for his power steering. So we're there, we're gonna get this thing on the ground, get the right height set, and then we gotta load this up on the trailer and go get it aligned. This thing's gonna be nice. Can't wait to drive it. Oh, oh, one of the things I have to do today is I need to cut the flanges like I was saying yesterday and bring them down off the hydro handle. <laughs> Why? Not enough leverage. That doesn't make any sense. All right, so Michael took off to go pick up his driveline. They got that done super quick. Uh, big shout out to Driveline Services of West Sac. Uh, that's actually where I got the one piece driveline made for uh, Jade. And uh, I have had nothing but excellent customer service from them. And so if you're in the area, if you're in the Sacramento area and you're looking for a good driveline shop and you don't know already, driveline services of West Sac. Um, in the meantime, I went ahead, I got some brake fluid going through his front brakes. We'll just have to like crack it and bleed the last little bit of air out, but it should be good to go actually. Um, and I started working on some more of the fab work for the front end, uh, getting, that guy made. Um, we got the little nubbins for the radiator mounts, and Michael's gonna pick up some uh, like half inch or three quarter inch scrap or a strap, um, so we can just tie that in. Um, I also went ahead and made the brackets for the hood pins. So once we figure out where those are gonna go, all we have to do is weld them up, and we're good to go. We might have to use some of that that quarter inch rod that we used for like the fender braces. This stuff. Um, if it needs to be more than maybe an inch off of the tube front, but that should work fine. I guess I could throw some power steering fluid in if we have any. Holy shit. I don't think he's thought of that. So I've just been working on that. I got to make the other side of this little corner brace here. Um, and this one still needs a little love. All right. Got one of these straps in. Just waiting for the drill to charge to get this other one. Uh, Michael's underneath the car. Somewhere? No, Michael's outside. Michael's outside cleaning this shit. Uh, he just got back to the shop, picked up that drive line. Did you already put it in? He's gonna throw that in and throw some fluid in. We're gonna bleed the clutch. Holy shit, that's, this is happening so fast. Just sitting here watching our first video of the series that just came out today. To me, it's kind of crazy to think that seven days ago there's a lot of shit has happened in seven fucking days dude yeah no, but, I, was, I was thinking the same thing when i watched it i mean the whole tube front's got a whole new shape there's a radiator that's actually on there's hoses it fucking starts there's an intake there's an intake there's power steering now there's a fucking drive line yeah drive line everything lines up i was able to put it into the transmission put the drive line in put it like up against the diff and bolt it up. It was so nice than before. Cause yesterday when I went to put it in, I had to drop the diff, then bolt the drive line to the diff and then mount the diff back up. And it was, um, it was too tight against the transmission and the diff. So nothing would turn. It's not because uh, like the reason why it being too long was not because excessive fucked up. I'm using a Q45 diff in my S13. So the Q45 diff is a lower gear ratio. So say in second, you'll have a lot higher speed because the name of the game is wheel speed. I wanted to go that route and the Q45 is an ABS uh, diff. And when they asked me what drive line I needed, I told them the year and it was an S13. And then I sent them an email telling them I had a Q45 diff and asking if they could put a flange and they didn't read it in time. So I was like, oh, I'll just make it work. 
which it didn't really work. So I had to get an inch and a quarter cut off, off of it. So it wasn't Excesso's fault. It's because I'm running a Q45 diff and not the stock S13 diff. I also got fluid in the transmission. Um, my shifter was a little stiff. Um, I think I bolted uh, the shifter to the linkage too tight, so it didn't really have any movement. Got the back lower down. Uh, tube fronts done. Uh, we got water in there. Power steering fluid in there. Michael's just wiring up his gauges right now. And then we're gonna start it. We're gonna bleed all this shit. Keep an eye out for leaks. And uh, holy shit. I can't believe today could be the day you drive it. Down to that first We run. nearly forgot that FD was on. All right, gauges are all wired up except for like the lights. When I turn the lights on, it changes different colors. Aaron put the spacers on, we bled the clutch line, so if we put wheels on it, I could drive it. If uh, temps seem fine, we can get the idle down. I'm stoked, might be the first time driving it. So as you saw, she drove by herself. I'm so happy. Uh, I gotta adjust my clutch pedal a little bit. It uh, engages too close to the uh, floor. She fucking drove by herself. I'm excited. I gotta fix the timing. I gotta figure out why it's uh, popping. Also, my tack. I thought I grabbed the right tack wire uh, to run to the tack, but I don't know why it's not reading. Once I get that, you know, the tack all wired up correctly, I can adjust the idle down and maybe it won't like sit there and pop. Pop, pop. It's just, it's kind of cool at the beginning. I was like, damn, those backfires. But now it's just, it's annoying. I just called my uh, buddy that does alignments and he said he's going to the shop here shortly. So I need to get the ride height down like quick and hit him up and let him know I'm done and he's gonna meet me at his shop and get alignment done. Uh, so I'm really happy that Justin's gonna do that for me. So let's get to this uh, ride height. All right, well, we dropped down Michael's car as far as we could. Uh, the rear coils are bottomed out. Um, but like he said, Justin, he's gonna still be able to get us aligned tonight. So we'll be able to get that over with. So it's just, button things up and no matter what if this thing is fighting him he can still take it to bash and you know we can tinker with it a bit there so either way both cars will be there guys um, you better be excited because we are up we're gonna go home drop off Tucker 
uh, just so he's not in the car, you know, while my car is getting aligned. Um, and then we're gonna head to Affinity Performance, have Ussery align it, and this car will be good for that sense. Um, and it's bodywork and finished electrical like lights, basically. That's it. Oh, and you gotta finish the tack. Yeah. Right. Right, guys well that uh, that's gonna wrap it up Michael got his car all lined up it we feels did great thank you Justin we did have some issues though with his tension rod it actually kind of gave up uh, fortunately Justin had a spare one that would work um, so again thanks Justin definitely hooked it up yeah. definitely always take good care of us so definitely but today was super productive I can't believe like how how much crazy stuff has gotten done these last two days have just been insane like um, basically all i have left for my car is finish the wiring for all like the unnecessary shit he's uh, got to figure out his tack that's like yeah that's important you gotta figure out the tack but wiring and panels that is it that's it it was a little late when we got done with the alignment so Rather than going back to the shop and waking up Dave, uh, we're going to leave Michael's car at my house tonight um, and I'll take it out to the shop tomorrow when I go. That way Michael doesn't have to tote it around town with him to work and everything tomorrow and stuff. Yeah. So He's in here. Uh, Michael did Safe try and sound. Michael did try to pull the hydro. Um, yeah, uh, tried to pull it and it's a no-go. I got to fix it. Yeah, Definitely so one of the projects to do. That's, that's another thing. Um, but Shouldn't take too long though. Yeah, I mean, it's you just, just gotta cut it, those. clean up those, and then weld them back. Yeah. Hope. Thank you guys for sticking it out with us. Yeah. You know, seeing this car actually. Yeah. Be finished I, here shortly. I hope. I hope that this seeing this thing rolling is is rewarding to you guys who have been following this build since the beginning yeah. of our channel, um, as it is to us. Because I, I know some of you guys are have been around since day one, um, and we definitely have some new people on board. So. Again, I really hope you guys are as enthused and as excited to see this thing on the road. Not the road. Not the road. <laughs> the road. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Be back tomorrow with uh, more of Michael's 240 content. Yes. We got what? What are we going to do when we don't have content for the last two days? <laughs> <laughs> We've got uh, six days left until we roll out for Bash. Yep. No. No. Six days left until we need to be at Bash. We'll be finishing up our first night of drifting in six days. It's Saturday. We leave in five Sunday, days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. We leave in five days. And so, Thursday doesn't really count because we're not really... Yeah. We can't really do and anything. And Wednesday doesn't there. really count because we have to go pick up the trailer. Yeah. But my dad's also going to be in town. He won't be here. He won't be on in the vlogs until Tuesday. Um, but he gets in Monday night. Maybe we'll uh, save the closing for for when they get here. Obviously, Michael won't be here to close it. But we'll see. Sorry to keep rumbling. Rambling. Rumbling. rumbling. And that uh, what, That's what my car makes. Yeah. We got to fix that, too. Yeah. Or try to. All right. Well, this battery's about to die, so later, guys. Peace. Motherfucker. Come here. Come. What are you doing? What? Are you sitting? Are you pooping? Maybe you're pooping. I don't. I don't know what Tucker's poop looks like. <laughs>